Hello learner hi this is Ajit from Lomos Archilabs and today we're gonna see how we can do such type of side section in 15 minutes using SketchUp, Lumion and Photoshop. So let's get started. So to start off with I have downloaded a model from 3D Warehouse. The credits for this model goes to Max Echo Whiskey and you can see it's a school basically with a central plaza. So we'll try to cut out a side section through the plaza or from the front reception of this building and we we'll try to do the post production of the side section on Photoshop. So let's keep going and take this model to Domion and start off with our landscaping. You can see this we have added our landscape element over here and we can just go and have a close look at this how does it look like so the plaza is all set and you can see we have everything placed in here so you can just go down and just check out this so we have the transportation and human all set for the plaza part now gives a good look now we can just go ahead and add a chip plane to this so that we can get a cut from here so to add a chip plane you can go to the utilities and this is called a chip plane so I'll just go and add a chip plane over here now this is fine just go and deselect all now you will have chip plane will basically go and cut the part of your model that's it so it won't cut the landscaping or the objects which you have placed in Lumion. so what I'm gonna do I can just go to my trees nature and I can delete all these and I'm gonna save a shot here where I'll get a look of this entire plaza so I might have to go a bit back just to save this because I need to capture this entire thing so let's go back and just try to capture the entire frame of it yeah this seems perfect I feel this is perfectly fine I can just have it at this level now after doing this it's give it gives you a perspective look as well and you can just set the focal length if you want to decide the focal length can be over 18 to have a better sort of view here now this looks perfectly fine I think if possible you can just go and capture the side roadways as well yeah I think that's fine it's a nice side section that you can actually capture yeah this is perfect now you can go and save this if you want you can go and save a zoomed in section for the entrance so you can show that part as well just for the main block so I can just save this as well just for the same main block and you can render out only this part of it as well so we we'll just save this yeah seems good to me now you can just set the levels you can use this move up and down arrow keys to adjust it properly now I think this is fine you can just adjust it a bit more now, this seems perfect you can capture this now to start off with you can just go and add on some custom style itself so I'll just take a realistic style over here and you can click on screen to just to get a look how it's gonna be now I can just go and add some realistic style realistic sky to it or you can just take the sun and you can just play around with the sun height so you have some amazing sky that you can directly use in your model and see how the render is gonna look like so this is what I opted for initially I can just go and add one more feature here that is my camera and I can just add a two point perspective to this so you can see how does it looks like so you can just add some sort of effects like this which will give you a nice effect over your render you can just try them out 
I'll just add the reflective planes on all my glass facade. You can check, and it's gonna give you a nice reflective view. Render photos, and you can just turn on all the additional outputs that you're looking for. Maybe the depth map, and for sure, make sure that you take the material ID. It will help you select the materials and to further edit them on post Photoshop. So, as you can see, we have already got our render from Lumion with our material ID. We can take this. So, I've opened the same render over here. Let's go and add our material ID as well over this. Now, I have the material ID. You can just place it. I have added it to like this. So, let's go and select this part of. can just go create a new layer over here and can just add a color so the foreground color with alt and backspace so I have the color over here now I can do one thing I'll just go and look out for a grid so you can just look out for a grid option you can just click on pattern overlay and you can select the grid that you have Now, that's a color palette that we usually use at Lomos. Now, what I can do, I can just press Ctrl I to invert this. This, this looks more greener and it suits the background as well. You guys can add a black and white as well. So you can add a black color and a white color grid over it. So that can be your preference. And now moving ahead, you can just go and take a pen tool and let's go. While using a pen tool, make sure that the fill option is unchecked and you can use a black color pen with thickness of 10 20 as per your preference. I can just close my pen here now. So you can just go and to the strokes, you can change it to. 10 if you feel like it's too much now see looks good yeah decent now you can just add a dimension line over here so for that as well I can use my pen tool only you can just use a pen tool so I can just add my dimension line with shift I'll get a straight line over here you can decide the stroke color maybe I can keep it as white so I'll keep it as white and the stroke can be 5 or something that's perfect and you can just hit enter to close the previous shape command now i will make sure that i have a fill unchecked in a stroke of five let's say and click here once and you can just hold shift to get a straight pen now this is perfect you can add the text over it now before i add the text i can just go and make it a uh, you can just go ahead and add a sun over here maybe to give it a nice feel of this graphically so i can just go and take my ellipse in the shapes so you can just go and you can select a ellipse tool now over here i'll go and change the ellipse and i'll pick a orange color maybe and i don't want a stroke this time so i'll uncheck that now make sure guys you hold shift and make a circle out of it so holding shift you'll get a circle out of an ellipse and you can just go and let's say place it over here now I want to send my ellipse behind my building so what I can do this time I'll go turn on my material ID and I can take my magic fan tool I can go activate the layer over there and I'll just go and select this black color over here so in material ID basically you get a specific color for a specific material so for the entire sky you had a black color now I'll get back to my ellipse that's my ellipse you can just uh, hide and unhide and get to know that if you are on the right layer and you can just go and click on apply layer mask so it will just crop that thing off so that's amazing you have this thing now maybe I can just I just I think I missed out this so I'll take make a copy of it hold alt and you can just drag it and place it on so that's perfect now you can just go ahead and start off with the text over here 
so let's take the text tool and always make sure you make a text box before you write anything so you can just take a text box over here and I generally use a century gothic I love the font if you guys want to try some other fonts you can just in download the font and you can use them uh, usually century gothic is a predefined font and it's a free font uh, you can download it from any website which gives you a free font downloader now I can just apply this as site section to this you can I feel like I have a huge space over here in the bottom so I can just crop it off so let's go and crop that part off yeah this time I can change the text size to a decent like some 60 or something or maybe that's also too huge so I can keep it as 36 and we can just add up so that can be our setback area and if you don't want you can just uncheck that and on the character box I can just uncheck this part as well even 30 feels pretty huge over here yeah so I can just add this and and you can get some cut sections like this so like I have done here cut section section cc dot section bb dot and section aa dot so you can just give a cut sections like this and you can show them in detail as well now you can add the text the same way you can add the text over here as well now to detail this thing out I can maybe I can go there and look down for some birds png so yeah perfect you can just add it off change the size as per your preference you can just place them and you can just reduce the opacity a bit yeah so that it looks like they're flying a bit behind and i have that feel here that's actually amazing you can just finish off with writing the text here and you are all set to go so you can detail out the things pretty much with the smaller section cut section because you have to go and add it off on a small or a, on a sheet so it will help you to present it in a nicer way so this is all about getting a side section cut from Lumion and then doing the post production on Photoshop thank you guys so that's our final render if you enjoyed watching this video then do like comment and subscribe to our channel and follow us on instagram for such amazing stuff thank you guys